What's in those Mitt Romney taxes that could be so damaging? We've been talking for a while now about at this point, Mitt Romney is not just being stubborn by not releasing his tax returns. He clearly has calculated that whatever is in there would be more damaging than the negative effect of not releasing them. I think we've all agreed on that. Yes. I am going to propose something, which I've been thinking about for a while. And over the weekend, Steve Baldwin, who's the former Republican whip of the California State Assembly, also is saying, here's the theory. What would show up in Mitt Romney's tax returns, bear with me here, that would be so damaging, way more damaging than finding out that he didn't really pay that much in income taxes? Stericycle. Stericycle is the medical waste disposal company that Mitt Romney through Bain Capital invested a lot of money in that in part makes money from the disposal of aborted fetuses. Now, at some point we know that Mitt Romney's name was on those documents. So one of two things may be in Mitt Romney's tax returns. If he got rid of those shares, if he got rid of that interest in Stericycle, that would show up on the tax returns as a huge amount of money because of all the shares that he owned. Other alternative is he's still an owner in, in those shares, and he's making a lot of money off of the ownership of Stericycle. It would be, let's be honest, Mainstream media has pushed the Stericycle story basically under the rug. I don't know why. Is it because they think it would be seen as partisan to simply report on the inherent double standard and hypocrisy that Mitt Romney has as a so-called pro-lifer who is making tons of money from a company that makes money disposing of aborted fetuses? Or is it maturity on behalf of the mainstream media to actually try and cover important issues instead of trying to talk about uh, Mitt Romney's uh, hypocrisy? Right. What is the question? I don't know what the answer is. Case in point, the Stericycle story has not made it big. It's still there. We're still talking about it. All their alternative media are talking about it. You have to assume, and there's plenty of evidence. Check the Boston Globe. They continue to report that Mitt Romney, well beyond the February 1999 supposed retirement, continued to control and reap profits from Stericycle way after that supposed retirement. Would this be damaging? Of course. Natan, what do you think? Mike, you, you need to turn your mic on. Yeah, my mic's on. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that this this would be huge, and like you said, I think that Romney's campaign has calculated this, and I guess they just assume that they're better off not even going there and keeping keeping the mystery in it. Absolutely. I mean, listen, President Obama was hounded for the long form, the short form, the chicken form birth certificates. He produced them. He produced everything he was asked to produce. Mitt Romney won't even divulge some simple tax forms. Imagine how he's going to line his pockets if he gets four years in office, Lewis. There is no, there is no covering the fact that this is simply, you're just simply weighing how much something will hurt you. Obviously, the campaign has decided, like Natan said, that it will hurt you more to release them than to not release them. Either way, there's going to be criticism. It's also funny that Mitt Romney is saying he wasn't on the board at the time. He wasn't around when his company shipped the jobs overseas. He resigned from the company retroactively. You could have video of Mitt Romney physically signing the papers to purchase uh, Stericycle, and he would still try to retroactively edit himself out of the room in the video. I mean, it, it, you, could, you could present any evidence, and he, he wasn't there. He just well, wasn't You can involved. do that with technology these days. <laughs> you could put anyone in his place, too.